Our top story at 10, a man is behind bars accused of a deadly shooting and tonight we're learning it's not the first time he's been charged with murder. Police say Franco Summers killed his girlfriend's father during an argument over the weekend. Only on Ken's five, we spoke with that young woman who witnessed her father, Christopher Fuentes, being shot. Franco looked me in my eyes and then shot my father and I keep seeing my father's face. Um, once he realized that he was shot. Now another family says the shooting could have been prevented. Ken's five reporter Hannah Tita is following developments and Hannah the suspect was previously accused in a different deadly shooting. That's right, ACs. Franco Summers was accused of murdering a teenager back in 2013, but that charge was dropped and he was released from jail. Tonight, the teenager's mother tells us the justice system has now failed two families. First, he kills my son. And now this. A picture of Roger Rodriguez on her arm, his memory tattooed on her heart. This is where a grieving mother visits her son and celebrates his birthdays. Losing a child is the worst pain a mom can go through. Back in January of 2013, authorities say Franco Summers shot and killed the brother of his then girlfriend. 17 year old Roger Rodriguez died on scene. My brother tried protecting me and that's all he did. And, you know, and the outcome was that was was him dying. Court records show Summers was charged with murder and assault with a deadly weapon, but those charges were dismissed. The Rodriguez family tells us he was only behind bars for a few months before being released. He's uh, claimed self-defense. Um, that my brother uh, threatened him or had a weapon. I don't think a weapon was found on my brother or anywhere near him. You don't shoot somebody four times in the back and get away with it and claim self-defense. The family is fed up after a second deadly shooting. Early Saturday, police say Summers fatally shot his girlfriend's father, Christopher Fuentes, after an argument at a Northside restaurant. She saw her dad get killed. I saw my son get killed. To hear that he's killed someone else again, it, it definitely brought back a lot of emotions, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. This time, the Rodriguez family hopes Summers stays behind bars. Are they going to listen to me now? Are they going to listen to Chris's family now? And court records show that uh, Summers has a lengthy criminal history. In fact, he served time after uh, holding a woman and child hostage back in 2019. Now, Summers was arrested yesterday on an active murder warrant. He's also facing several other unrelated family disturbance charges. Live in the newsroom, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5. Thank you, Hannah.